Hi everyone, it's Miros and here is another star in my desk and this is OnePlus 15. So let's unbox it, set it up and make it as global friendly as we can. Let's do this. This one I ordered it from Gistop. I was surprised by the support and uh, quick delivery. This is not an advertisement, they are not sponsoring me. I just select the best way to order Chinese broad phones and this time this is Gistop. So let's remove the top cover and see what we have. Of course typical books and we have a case, a silicone case. Almost uh, same as uh, Vivo, but this one is written inside it, never settle, which is a nice touch by OnePlus. We'll check that in a minute and let's check because this is a Chinese device. We still have here a charger, a case, a cable and SIM ejector too. And this charger is a brutal one. This is a SuperWook 120 watts quick charger. And we will need this because this OnePlus has a huge battery of 7300 mAh, which is unbelievable. And we have a USB-C to USB-A red cable. This is the most beautiful phone I ever see in this color. This is it, OnePlus 15 in famous sandstone color no it's same sandstorm sorry it was sandstorm but still very very beautiful and if you when you touch it it's like an unbelievable touch guys because it's like a sticky material i i cannot explain it uh one plus told us that it's seven times uh, tougher and so on but believe me it is very beautiful and the side rails i'm not sure how strong they are and uh, how good they will last but believe me they are very very beautiful and somehow sticky in your hands and this device is even comfortable than the Vivo X300 Pro because here that huge camera bump if you want to put your finger here you can't you need to touch the camera if you put it here it's not very comfortable but here we don't have that problem this is the most beautiful device this year to me. In a uh, matter of size, they are identical. They have uh, flat screens with no curves, but uh, this one Vivo is uh, a little bit heavier. It's expected because of the big uh, camera models, but here we have a very big battery. And of course, the biggest difference between these two devices is here we have a MediaTek 95 Zero, 0 and here we have the new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Yes, the last one to close the door, but this is the most brutal CPU you can find on the market. So let's move that aside and continue with the OnePlus. Of course, I already mentioned it's uh, ordered from Gistop and they, like uh, every other brand, Chinese brand, they just uh, pre they just uh, open the device, preset everything, they install Google services and they prepare it for you. It is color OS because it's a Chinese version of course, we miss here Oxygen OS and you can see the device already has a built-in Google services with Play Store and so on but what I will do now is I will factory reset my device and start from the scratch just to show you how to set up your Chinese OnePlus. 15 and by the way guys this guide will work if you ordered an oppo find x9 pro or x9 and every device using color os so let's do this you can see guys i just want to mention that here uh, when you start to set up your device it is asking from what device you want to import the data and you have here the oppo realme or oneplus all of the uh, Oppo brand, other Android and import data from iPhone. So you can import the data from your iPhone, which is uh, uh, <laughs> which is uh, we, we really they are these operating systems are getting closer and closer. But now let's keep it up and set it up as a new. All right, 
our OnePlus device or OPPO device using ColorOS is already set up and let's check what we have. If you scroll down, it will directly ask you for Google services. This is the first thing your ColorOS device will ask you, how to set up your Google services and but if it's not asking you, you need to go in settings, scroll here, system and update, you have on the bottom Google settings. When you tap here, this should be enabled. That's it. And now when it's enabled, you need to tap here and of course sign in in your Google account. And now you, when you set up your Google account inside here, you need to go to the home screen again and from here open the app market this is just the process for every china brand every china manufacturer and every china software will work almost the same way search for google play don't don't confuse with that our play this is something else and here it is the google play icon itself you need to tap here and update it it should be pre-installed, but just to update it. Now it's ready, let's open it. We are already in our Google account. And that's basically, it. we already have a Google services enabled and almost everything should work on our device. First thing to do is uh, download here a Chrome. This is my advice. And, uh, or at least, uh, Gboard because I want to download Gboard and this keyboard is something I don't like. I always go for the betas. I'm not advising you to do this, but let's open it and set it up. How to set up? Just enable it here in settings, select input method. Yes, we are ready and now from here oh man i love typing on this device these haptics are so so good the vivo x300 pro has improved uh, haptics now from the last year but nothing compared to this this is just so so good i re really really like it when you install google chrome and gboard if you want of course just open chrome from here when you are at the home screen of uh, google chrome you can search for play services And because if you search that in Google Play directly, you can't find it. But when you search it here and it will directly point you to Google Play. Now from here, my advice is just to update them. It's always better to update the Google services to the latest version because most of the apps won't work if uh, you are not updating them. Something else, if you want, go here in settings and I will show you some things uh just to show you here i will go for a search and write password and here if you write password you will find that auto fill service so if when you tap it now it's enabled uh google is enabled but if you tap here you can select here google and and you can disable that uh, frequent used info because this is the Chinese uh, store for your Google passwords and in that way you will use Google password manager for auto filling. Yes, that's it. So the next big thing here is just go for a Play Store, find if Android Auto is working and yes, it's definitely working. So when you just go here in uh, Google Play, search for Android Auto. And you will find here that go to Android Auto settings. When you uh, tap on it, it will be disabled by default, but you will enable it and update it. That's it. It is pre-installed system application, so it will just work perfectly, but you need to update it and enable it. So go in settings now, and you have here the option cross device connectivity, tap on it, and tap here smart cars agree and continue and here you will find on your android auto and you can connect to a vehicle that's it android auto will work for your color os 16 device and especially x9 pro x9 and oneplus 15. so 
we are almost there everything is almost set up now we want to enable google search how to search how to do this again i will just swap this for chrome for easier access of course guys this is just a bloatware so you can do like this and select all this chinese stuff and remove it simple as that this is the chinese wallet and quick game everything you can just uninstall because this is just a bloatware so even the browser i will tap here on uninstall and we'll just remove them now for google circle to search you need to download so-called application me cts same as vivo just write it in google and you will find here the two good uh, github links tap on the second one releases and just scroll to find your apk here it is download anyway and just install it and it's installed no need to open it or anything now from here you need to download the google application because me cts or circle to search won't work without it just hit it here and also you need to download google gemini search it here and this is it these apps are necessary for circle to search so just download them when you download bcts google and gemini just open it so uh, you can log in with your accounts and tap on use gemini and when you log in here with your account in google gemini it is a hidden setting but it's important to do this just tap on your uh here on your profile picture and tap here switch to google assistant now select gemini but the option which is important here is that when the google app is your android default digital assistant this is android default digital assistant you need to tap that when you tap here because it's a hidden setting and you cannot access it from the settings menu of your color os device so default digital assistant tap now it's set to known but if you tap it you need to select here google that's it and in that way it will work other way it won't work and keep in mind after every restart or almost every restart you need to reselect your default digital assistant app and this uh, not every time but most of the time if it stop working then you need to reselect it and now our me cts application should work you can see circle to search is available and searching here with gemini and everything perfectly working and if you want to put it somewhere you can do with this smart side sidebar just from here tap on edit and include here me cts here it is this is the probably the simple way you can do this just swipe this sidebar tap on me cts and now you can just select wherever you want and it will search for you that's the easy way to make Google circle to search won't because uh, this uh, shortcut button is not working like uh, the one on the Vivo and you cannot assign every application you want it's pretty limit in uh, terms of functionality probably in future they will improve it but for now you cannot use it so when you do all these things probably the next important things are notifications let's install a telegram and i will show you in telegram how it will work okay now telegram is uh, installed let's do all all of the options for 
making notifications work and this is basically the way for almost every chinese brand it's uh, with uh, small differences but in general it's the same hold on it scroll to more features and select app info that's it you need to go up info and now from here tap on permissions scroll and these are the permissions just uh, you want to read the clipboard so on so on this is just something you need to select it but from here you have this uh, auto revoke permissions i will disable this because in uh, after some time it will make a problem and when you tap other permissions scroll to the bottom and select special app access and this is something i always enable for color os devices because other way again notifications won't came on time now when you do this many choppy phone news should be disabled too and when you tap battery usage this is important setting you need to select here our all background activity yes that's it and in that way your notification should came on time but if still not just go in settings scroll because for some reason uh, settings are different for here this uh, origin os and color os uh, you need to go in settings apps and from here select uh, auto launch and here enable the applications you want to auto launch i won't suggest you to make this for every application because this will uh, drain the battery quickly but for most applications which you want to receive notifications on time just enable these options and when you are ready go back and select associated launch again do the same for all the apps you want to receive notifications on time if for some reason for some reason you should receive your notifications but if for some reason you still not receive notifications on time just go back in the main settings uh, page select battery and scroll down from here select power saving settings and here when you see that sleep standby optimization do this only if you are still not receiving notifications on time if everything's okay just skip that uh, step and leave that enable because in that way it will just help a little bit for your battery to not drain so fast but i always disable this because it will drain battery and here you have app battery management and if you find the application allow background activity you can access that from here too and should be enabled if you want notifications on time allow background activity should be enabled other way it won't work as it should be that's basically guys everything should work now perfect except some uh, google timeline which i'm not using at all and also quick share won't work that's it everything else like uh, also google wallet and nfc payments should work too and on the left side you have this uh like a recommend recommended bar or something you of course you can disable everything here and if you swipe down it will bring a global search option but this is easy, easy fixable just do like this home screen settings and swipe down on home screen tap here and notification and quick settings should be selected and now it will bring notification and quick settings that's it so this is basically your oneplus color os or oppo device should be set up completely and will be global friendly yes i know most of you are interested in can we make this oneplus device switch from china version to global oxygen os version i don't know yet we are now starting exploring everything but to be honest i am not very optimistic because of some restrictions oppo do to their oneplus devices but we'll see that in future thanks for watching and of course 
Okay, have a nice day.